Okay, I'm going to do a run through of uh, View Manager 4 uh, from VMware. First thing first, when you install the uh, connector software onto the server, we're going to have to license it. Uh, just click the edit, stick your key in. This one's already licensed with a demo uh, key. Um, next, uh, you're going to want to put in your server. Your, you see I already have it in here. You can click add to add it. We're going to edit here. We can see some of the, um, the parameters you will have to enter in. Uh, pretty basic. You'll, you'll see here is the server, uh, a user that has uh, rights to the virtual center. And then for the view composer, you're going to want to have a user that has rights to an AD domain so that you can pull user uh, information and also be able to add uh, systems to your domain. Um, let's go ahead and go to desktops and pools and we can actually create a what you would call a desktop. Um, we can just click the add on the desktop and pools tab here. So we're going to do an individual desktop and click next. We're going to use a virtual machine in vCenter. Um, this is the vCenter server user. I'm going to put in a unique ID. We're just going to call this main. Uh, you can put a description if you wanted to. Um, here are some of the actual settings for this desktop that you you can configure. We can uh when a VM VM is not in use you have different options. Um log off options. Um you can allow the user to reset the desktop if you wanted to. Uh your default protocol either PC over IP or or RDP can be selected. Can allow users to override any of the uh, protocol settings there. Uh, your maximum number of desktops, your resolution for your desktop, and any Adobe Flash features down here at the bottom. We're going to go ahead and take the defaults uh, just for this this little demo and click next. Here we see the the VM. It's a Windows 7. Uh, VM. We're going to click it and click next. And here's the basic overview of the settings that we've configured for this, this desktop or, or pool configuration. And from here we can just click the, uh, the finish. Okay, it's updating. We can see uh, this is the desktop we've created. It's enabled. Uh, if we click edit, you can see we can run through some of the uh, settings. If we needed to reconfigure anything, um, it's pretty much just going to let you do some certain parameters, uh, not everything. So we get out of there. Um, once it's complete, you'll have to entitle the uh, the desktop so that someone in the domain can actually use it. Here we're going to put the administrator account, hit find, and we can see it found the administrator on the domain. We're going to hit OK and it's added in there. So when the administrator logs in from the the connector or the uh, client, then he will be able to see this main desktop. If we go into desktop sources, you can see we have the Windows 7 desktop here and it's waiting for agent to become available. Uh, active ses sessions, none. Uh, offline sessions, of course there are none. And we have also global policies. Um, 
here we can edit some of the policies either to allow or, or deny uh, certain parameters. I'm going to cancel out of these. Go back to the main pool here, and we're going to restart that uh, that VM, the Windows 7 VM that that we created and added to this desktop pool. Now I just want to add that um, when you create this this VM and you install your uh, your desktop, you're gonna want want to make sure that um, you set it up the way you you want to. Uh, there's some very good directions that uh, VMware um, has for set setting these up, and you install the the agent the view agent inside the VM guest. Now that the guest is up, we'll go ahead and uh, go to the the view manager. And if we look at the desktop sources, we can see now that it, the status is ready for the agent. Um, if we open up a browser now, we can browse to this view manager. And we'll just type in the server name here. Uh, we'll accept any security and we'll type in the administrator account that we gave access to that uh, the actual desktop pool. Uh, when we log on for the first time we're going to have to install the plugin. Now once it's installed, you just you'll click on the main desktop, um, allow the access, and as you can see, the window will pop open with your new desktop, and this is automatically logging in um, to the VM that we've created. And we can see the desktop here. Um, very simple process of installing the composer on the virtual center server, 
then the manager on its separate server creating the VM guest of course putting the agent in it and then connecting to the manager either with the view client local or the web browser as we did in this example.